See, that's another thing. You know, these, uh, this is a great story, man. These American Indians, have anybody been following this story about the American Indians? They have been using peyote in their religious services since there's been Indians and probably the day after they found peyote, all right? <laughs> well, there's a natural progression of ideas, you know. I, I think we can use this in the services. <laughs> I don't think this will fuck up the hymns at all. Who's in? I agree. Now, some little busybody is trying to make it against the law for these Indians to use peyote in their religion, which they've been doing thousands of fucking years before we came here and raped their culture in the name of Jesus. Okay? And they're saying, well, we mean there's a war on drugs, and we mean all drugs for all people, and that includes religion. Let me ask you something. Haven't we fucked with the Indians enough? We pretty much took their fucking country. Let's give them peyote. Let's bend the rule for the red man. They should be allowed to shoot heroin in the vein under their cock on Main Street at fucking noon, man. <laughs> hey, that guy's shooting heroin. Oh, it's an Indian. You go right ahead. <laughs> Sorry about raping your culture in the name of Jesus the Lamb and all. <laughs> and the Indians are so diplomatic. I saw them on CNN. The Indians on TV going, look, we use peyote in our religion. It's like, uh... Well, it's like how the Catholics use wine. <laughs> There's a master of understatement right there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like how the Catholics use wine. Only difference is, when we take peyote, light shoots out of our foreheads. Angels pour out of our ass. UFOs fly out of our cocks. But it's like wine. <laughs> if you're a Catholic. I've always noticed the wine and peyote high to be almost synonymous. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> That's enough on drugs. That's enough. 